Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thanks for joining me. I'm Nico. Today's video is a hit yoga workout. So we're gonna be doing some poses and adding in some reps in between. Make sure you have some water. Make sure you listen to your body throughout the practice and take breaks and modify as you need to. So we're gonna jump right into the practice. If you wanna add more of a warm up, feel free to do my 10 minute warm up. And if you wanna do a Shavasana at the end, feel free to do that too. So let's roll up to hands and knees to start. And let's just take a child's pose, big toes together, knees out wide, float your hips back towards your heels. And go ahead and come up on the fingertips as you melt your chest down, getting us a little bit of a stretch in the shoulders, round your tailbone down, getting yourself a stretch in the back. And maybe add a little movement, settling down into your balasana, opening up those hips a little bit as well. And you can let your hands rest. Inhale. Exhale, float your body up to a table position. Let's move into cat cow, marjariasana, bidalasana. Rotating the eyes of the elbows forward, knees underneath hips, hands underneath shoulders. Take an inhale. Lift the chin, flip the tailbone upward, drop the belly. Exhale, round the spine, tuck the tailbone under, bring the chin down to the chest. Moving in and out of these positions with your breath, inhale, open. Exhale, close. Moving through a couple more rounds. We're gonna build some heat today in the body. We're gonna challenge ourselves today. I got my uh, sweatband on, so I know we're gonna work hard today, but that's okay, because we're gonna get through it, just like we do with life. Anything that's tough, anything that's challenging, we have to make it through to the other side. And when you're ready, come back to a neutral position. We're gonna come up to plank, and then push the hips up and back for a down dog. Bend one knee and then the other. Just giving back of the legs a stretch here. And then from here, we're gonna float our body forward to plank. Inhale, exhale, lift the hips up and back again. And then go ahead and reach your right hand towards your left ankle. If that's not uh, reachable for you, you can just stay up and down dog. We're gonna do the same thing, floating back to plank, inhale. Exhale, now reach your left hand towards your right ankle. We'll do a few more of those. Inhale, just alternate. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Keep going. Good, inhale. Exhale. A couple more times, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and then in back in your plank. Good. Take your gaze, bring it up in between your hands. Step or jump the feet up behind the hands. Take an inhale for a half lift. Place the hands on the shins. Exhale, melt down to a forward fold. Good. Bring a nice bend into your knees and just fall down over those legs. Then tuck the chin to the chest, roll up to standing. Bring those arms with you. Inhale. Hands meet at the top. Exhale the hands to heart center and down at your sides. Good. Sweep the arms up. Take an inhale. Let the hands meet. Small back bend. Exhale, push the walls away, fall all the way down to a forward fold, planting the hands down in front of the feet. Inhale, up to a half lift. Exhale, plant the hands down, step back to a plank. Now from here in our plank, we're going to do six mountain climbers. We're gonna do slow mountain climbers. So right knee comes into the chest and then back. Left knee and back. Four more times, right? Left, right, and left, good. Now we're gonna take our vinyasa, so shift your weight forward, and then lower down. 
You can lower down halfway or all the way down to the belly, lifting the chest, or straighten the elbows all the way out, coming up to up dog. Cobra or up dog, you choose. Take an inhale, exhale, push the hips up and back, come back to your down dog. Taking some breaths here. Bring your gaze up in between your hands. Step or jump the feet up behind the hands. Inhale, up, half lift. Exhale, down, forward fold. Roll up to standing. Bring those arms with you. Inhale. Small back bend. Exhale, the hands to heart center. Good. Now from here, get nice and rooted on your right foot. We're going to move into warrior three. So nice and stable on the right foot. We're gonna to start to lower our body down, bringing our body perpendicular with our standing leg. And then go ahead and bring your hand down to the mat. We're gonna do 10 dips here. So bending the right knee, inhale, exhale, straighten. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Inhale, good. Exhale, lower that back, toe down, rotate that back heel down. Windmill this left arm up, around, and back, coming to warrior two. Check the alignment of those arms. Then bring the gaze over the first two fingers. Right knee is aligned over this right ankle. Bend a little bit deeper into your warrior two. Good, sweep that left arm up and around and we're gonna to come to crescent lunge. So you're coming on that, up on the back toe, chest and hips are square at the front of the room. Then we're gonna do some step ups here. So shift your weight into your right foot, step the left knee up to a 90 degree angle and then let the hands come over to the left. So you're twisting to the left as you step up. Then we're gonna step that left leg back again, inhale. Exhale, come that to that position again. Good. Inhale. Exhale, three. Keep going, inhale. Exhale, four. Inhale. Exhale, five. Inhale. Exhale, six. Inhale. Exhale, seven. Inhale. Exhale, eight. Inhale. Exhale, nine, inhale, exhale, 10. Go ahead and step back. Coming back to that crescent lunge. Lower that back heel down flat, straighten the front knee, and then let this left arm rest on the back leg. Right arm is gonna come up and back for a reverse triangle. Good, inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, windmill those hands down on either side of that front foot, come into a lunge position. Step your right foot back as we prepare for vinyasa. But first we're gonna do our six mountain climbers again. So right knee, one, left knee, two, right, three, left, four, right, five, left, six. Coming back to your plank, move through your vinyasa. Inhale, and exhale, meet me back. And down dog, whew. Working hard here, take a couple breaths. Catch your breath. Bring your gaze up in between the hands and step the feet uh, behind the hands. Roll up to a standing position, arms come with you. Inhale, exhale, the hands to heart center. Ugh. Shift your weight into your left foot and lower down for warrior three on the left side. Good. Go ahead and bring those hands down to the mat, unless you want to keep those hands at heart center, and we'll do 10. Inhale, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Inhale. Exhale, step that left foot back, rotate the back heel down. Right arm comes up, around, and back, coming to warrior two on this side. Bend that left knee over the ankle. 
making sure the hips are nice and wide here. Bend a little bit deeper. Good. Now let's sweep this right arm up to the front, coming up on the back toe, coming to a crescent lunge. And we're going to do our step ups here as we twist to the right. Inhale, exhale one. Inhale, exhale two. Inhale, exhale three. Inhale, exhale four. Inhale, exhale five. Inhale, exhale six. Inhale, exhale seven. Inhale, exhale eight. Inhale, exhale nine. Inhale, exhale 10. Good. Coming back to crescent lunge. Rotate that back heel down. Straighten this front leg. Right hand is gonna rest on the back leg. Left arm scoops up and back for reverse warrior. Inhale. Exhale, windmill those hands down on either side of the foot. Step that left foot back as we get ready for our vinyasa. But first we're doing our mountain climbers. Right knee, one. Left knee, two. Right knee, three. Left knee, four. Right knee, five. Left knee, six. Coming back to plank. Uthiya Vinyasa. Chaturanga. Cobra up dog. Moving back to down dog. Taking some breaths here in your down dog. Taking a break if you need to. If you need to take a break, just drop down to those knees. When you're ready, take an inhale. Exhale, shift your weight forward, come to a plank position. And then we're going to come down to a dolphin plank. So coming down on those forearms. If you need to modify, just drop the knees down. And we're just holding here for a couple seconds. Inhale. Exhale, I want you to shift your weight onto the right side. So this forearm stays down, feet can stack, or the top foot can come in front of the bottom foot. Then extend this left arm up for this variation of Vasistasana. Okay, inhale, exhale, bring the left hand down to the ground and gently go ahead and come down to the hip. And then we are going to bring this right arm parallel with the front of our mat. So you should be looking like this. Good. Now from here, bend both knees and we're going to lift the legs off the ground. <laughs> we're going to lift the legs off the ground like this and we're doing 10 clams. So we're opening and closing. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, 10, good. Now rest those legs back down. I'm gonna go back the way I was facing. Rest those legs back down, extend the legs back out. Use this left hand to bring you back up into your dolphin plank. So bring this, what form is this? Bring your right forearm back towards the top of the mat. Use this left hand to push your hips off the ground, coming back into your plank, and then go ahead and come back to center. Just hold it for a couple seconds because we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So this time, shift your weight onto the left forearm. Feet can stack or top one could come in front of the bottom one. Extend the right arm up towards the sky. Keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Bring this right hand down, gently coming down to the hip because you can hurt your shoulder here. Bring this left forearm parallel with the top of the mat. Bend these knees. And then we're lifting those legs off the ground. Again, our 10 clams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. 
good rest those legs back down use this hand this resting hand to push back up into your dolphin pose lifting those hips coming back to dolphin and we're holding here for a little bit a few seconds if you need to rest down, drop down to the knees. If you need to just take a full rest, that's fine too. And three, two, and one. Drop down to those knees. Hold the hips back towards the heels. Come to a child's pose for a moment. Good. Just catching our breath here for a second. And then when you're ready, come up to a kneeling position. Sitting back on those heels. If that's not, not comfortable, you can stay lifted for right now. And we're gonna do some thrusts. So if you need to start a little bit higher, that's just fine. So our knees are together. And as we lift our hips, we're gonna squeeze the glutes. So lifting up, squeezing the glutes at the top, and then setting back down. We got 10, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, just three more, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Go ahead and bring your hands down to the mat. We're making our way down to a seated position. Swing those legs out in front, and then take your hands, bring them on either side of your body, fingertips facing forward. <laughs> then we're going to bring these feet off the ground. Now from here, release those hands out in front of you. If you still need some support, it's okay to keep those hands down on the ground. But if you're okay doing this, reach those hands out in front of you. And then we're gonna extend those legs and fall back a little bit so we're hollowing out our body here and then we are shifting our weight from one butt cheek to the other so just move with me one two three four five six two more each side seven eight nine ten good release those feet down to the ground <sighs> release those hands down to the ground and slowly make your way down to your back hugging those knees into the chest for a moment <sighs> i got one more thing for you <sighs> almost done thank you for staying this long so release your knees bring your feet flat on the ground Bring your hands to your sides and just walk your feet back till you feel those fingers graze the heels. So we're pressing down through the feet and go ahead and tilt the pelvis towards you, making sure that lower back is connecting with the ground. And then we're going to do some hip lifts here. So we're pressing down through the feet, lifting the hips up, squeeze the back of the thighs, squeeze the glutes at the top of the bridge. And here we go. One, relax. Two, relax. Three, four, inhale. Exhale, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one last one, and 10, good. Hug those knees back into the chest. Rock side to side. Release those knees. Bring them flat on the ground and cross right ankle over the left knee. And then we're going to pull the left knee in towards the chest. So you can grab behind the thigh, or you can grab underneath the left knee, keeping both feet flexed. Maybe you gently push that knee away the right knee away with the right elbow. In 
inhale, exhale, release, across the ankle, press the left ankle over the right knee, and do the same thing. Pull that knee in towards your chest. Inhale, exhale, uncross the left ankle, hug the knees into the chest one last time, and release the knees, extending those legs towards the corners of the mat, palms, hands rest at your sides, palms facing upward. And if you want to move into a Shavasana, you can turn this video off now and move into your restful shavasana. Otherwise, this completes our hit yoga practice. I could just lay here for a while because that was a lot. I hope you were able to get what you were looking for out of this. If it wasn't enough, maybe do it again. So let me know what you think down below. If you wanna see more videos like this, if you enjoy hit yoga workouts, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for watching. Peace and love.